Alright, before we get into this video, I want to say this isn't in any way me stating Dream is a bad person, it's just more of a critique on some of his actions and why I find some of the things he does makes him sensitive. I want to clarify that I don't think it's a problem with him being too sensitive, but the route that he's taking to pander to his audience at this extent has just really created a fan base that's pretty toxic, and it will really put him in a bad position in the future. Now that being said, let's just hop straight into the video. Alright, so in today's episode of Future Fuck Ups, we're sponsored by Speedrunning Life, so we can see where we all went wrong. <sighs> there goes my cocaine money. Dino, hold the camera straight! What did you break now? Sorry, dude, I broke the lights. Fuck it, give me a flashlight or something, we're going Middle East. Alright, so where was I? So today we're going to be talking about a fan base that has gone from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. So before I get into this any deeper, I want to say I'm not stating that these dream fans aren't supportive, I'm stating they're obsessive and overly supportive in a way where it's become toxic. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, because apparently only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed, so just make sure to like and turn on notifications if you haven't. Now before I enter the PvP enabled zone and get all the stands angry at me, I decided today we'll give a little lesson on stand culture for those who use it and think it means being a fan, I'll just inform you on where it actually originated. The term stand came from an Eminem song from 2009 about a fan that became too obsessed with Eminem. A stand in the context that originally is used, it is basically an obsessive fan. But today's society obviously twisted the meaning behind it and tried to validate doing terrible obsessive things to the person they're a fan of by just saying that they're a stan and that they're just supporting him. When in reality, you can't justify everything wrong you do by, oh I'm supporting them, it's impossible. The whole purpose of this video is to discuss why I think his fanbase has gone downhill and why you should never bow down to your fanbase and let them control you. You can't justify their actions and neither can they justify your actions. If you mess up, you can't let them justify your actions because you need to take that you messed up and you need to learn from it. Because ultimately you create your image for them to look up to and you don't want them to just think that automatically what they're doing isn't wrong sometimes. Honestly, it isn't that hard to notice it's a bad issue when they get defensive when someone asks them why they do the messed up stuff like stalking Dream or giving Dream a bad image for doing scummy things like mass reporting. And usually it's just the dumbest shit that they do, especially like mass reporting a tweet. I mean, just because someone doesn't care about Dream and they don't care that you like Dream. Like, okay, I hate to break it to you, Dream Stands, but there are personality traits that don't consist of being a major fan of him. Oh, you disagree with a Dream Stands opinion? Well, then according to them, you're racist, a disgusting person, and they also insert multiple other insults that have nothing to do with the opinion they originally had. Also, before I put the video to someone else, I have a question. Have you or one of your loved ones made the fatal mistake of becoming an obsessed Dream Stan? If the answer is yes, then I'm very sorry to inform you. You have fucking detachment issues. Also, quick lesson. If you get issues like these, I mean, personally, I like fixing the problem manually. Couldn't we solve this in an easier way, like talking it out? Well, I like to solve things with a more, uh, <coughs> practical way. Alright, so you made it this far into the video, I don't necessarily need to explain who Dream is. I mean, I could just put my final statement in and just state that Dream is an absolute bitch. Now, you may be wondering what do I mean by him being an absolute bitch? Well, hear me out, okay? Minecraft Let's Plays have been a thing for about 10 years now, and you still make them. You're not special. I mean, yes, you found something that's unique on the platform that can cultivate and help you out in the algorithm, but I'll tell you this right now, Dream, your relevancy will fade in about a year or so. So don't go and find every single excuse to keep yourself relevant, because you might as well just ride out this wave and write out how good you're doing blowing up, and don't try to protect your image so heavily to defend yourself to such an extent. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about number two and how he's sensitive and how his stands are sensitive. This man Dream is commenting on people's channels. He's commenting on my friend Dumpy and Tagswag's channels about how his stands aren't this and that and the other thing. He's just defending them for leaving hate on their channels. Like bro, when you have 13 million subs, you think you would have much better things to do in life than just go out of your way to search for videos on you and just go comment on a shitty 15 to 19k YouTube channel. I mean, if you're gonna go comment on their channels with a video that has only 3,000 views, then clearly it shows you're sensitive. And number three, please tell your fans to stop defending you like some clout chasers and hunting down anyone who says anything bad about you. This goes for a lot more people. This goes for the Jake Paul stands. This goes for the K-pop people, but especially you because you know you play Minecraft in 2020 like it's a brand fucking new game, bro. And let's be real, not many people play that shit as much as you do. So let's just be honest here. Let's break it down, okay? I understand there's the demographic of people who watch your videos have the mental mindset of a fucking breadstick, but can you please just stop telling the kids that you're babysitting to stop going onto other people's videos to defend you? It's honestly sad. You have like 13 million subs. I mean, you're, you're, you have 13 million subs. You're literally too big to be touched. What is the gain of you being defended by anybody else or any of your fans? If you were a smaller channel, I mean, it'd be a whole different story and I'd be defending you. But for you with that many subs, you're just... 
You're literally like a god compared to us. You're, you're a colossal titan compared to us, dude. You just can't fail. You have the YouTube CEO's tit in your fucking mouth. So why are you having people raid other people's channels? And, you know, you aren't saying any of them are in the wrong, which is pretty fucked up, obviously. You can't just defend your fans when they're obviously doing something wrong. You don't see that they're in the wrong here. They're literally going out and raiding people's channels and commenting hate, hateful stuff. So clearly there's something, you know, annoying about that. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dream, I have to say it, but I just, I can't comprehend the absolute stupidity of this. I mean, it's just dumb. So I'm gonna have to slide this shit to the next reasoning because I, at this point, at this segment of the video, I don't even know what the fuck I'm on about anymore, but that's just really what I wanted to get across. Now, if we wanted to really talk about our problems like a therapy session, I'm positive most of the obsessed people here that we were talking about have already commented hate comments within seconds of seeing me disagree with them. And if you did, thank you. It helps my video each time you engage with it. So please, hit that button faster than my parents divorced. And if the stands have watched this far into the video, congrats, I'm proud of you. Because by this point, you being this deep in the video, the inevitable could happen. And a lot like my will to make this fucking video, you snapped. You've accepted that no matter what you do, this is everyone in this video's opinion, and now it's time for you to take your only logical step forward. Ding ding ding, you guessed it, fighting strangers on Twitter or over the internet because they don't enjoy what you watch. I mean seriously, when you shove it down their throats, it's pretty annoying. We could take a look at the people inside the genre, and well, it's nice to see they're doing well, I just don't see what everyone else sees in their videos, personally. I mean, when, when there are people who are friends of him who make Minecraft content literally replicating his format, you know, the format that Dream has created 24-7, I just can never understand why they want to live in a shadow. I just don't know why they'd want to personally. What I'm saying here is, wouldn't it be nice to have something different or unique? Remember when Sky Does Minecraft had his cops and robbers and popular MMOs had his modded Minecraft series? And I'm not saying Dream isn't unique, I'm saying, oh, now we have another Minecraft user that does the exact same thing as Dream with the exact same formula. How fun. I know all of this falls into personal preference and what you all enjoy to watch because let's be real, whatever I cook up in the Minecraft furnace is always an example of something I think is amazing is something that someone else will fucking hate. I mean, whoa, what's this? This right here. I mean, a YouTuber who makes entertaining content has been on the platform making videos for a long time and isn't terminated off the platform for stupid bullshit? Oh wait, I spoke too soon. Newsflash, everybody fucking hated this channel and now it's gone. So in reality, I don't know what I want anymore, and I'm positive I lost the topic I was even on about in the first place. So fuck it, class dismiss. Oh yeah, and if you want to support the channel for more videos like this, there's a sweet little fucking button right here when you want to become a member to support the cause and it motivates me to make more videos with this much editing and time. I mean, let's be real, the last time I ever got a donation was when I bought weed with a $5 pizza coupon. So it would sure as hell mean a lot, but that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and Elusive is the name, and Dreaming is the game. Peace, peace. Yeah,